Mm. Look at you. My love. Mm. Getting lip gloss all over me mm. now? Mm. Look at you. Get it all up on you. Look at me. I need a drink. Have to mark my territory extra, you know? Look at She's too handsome. Yeah, look at all this yeah. beard these women have. <laughs> I know. We gotta do your. Um, really? Oh my goodness. We have to, babe. All right. Hey y'all, hey, Mark here and Martha and, and welcome, welcome to, to the Sharp, Sharp Family. Family. In today's video, we're going to be showing you a little bit about what we did this week, what's been happening. Mm -hmm. and Show you guys what I cooked throughout the week for us. And Zeke and I went down to the creek on uh, one of my days off and got to walk through the creek and have a good time. And He loved it. He just wanted to walk through with me. I picked him up. I didn't let him get in there much past his boots, you know. But Yeah. And then your rock update. That's right. Got some tumbling. new rocks. Been tumbling some rocks. Yeah. Uh, did put them in the polishing stage, but they just didn't. I didn't let them go long enough, really. And I think the seal on the tumbler was a little, a little loose, so some of the powder I noticed did end up coming out. But uh, will it focus? Very yeah. Good. There we go. Didn't That's turn good. out bad. That's one of the rocks. Yeah, the Yukonite. Yeah. He's made into a, we can either put it on a pendant for a necklace or make it into a keychain. This is a red adventure, if it'll focus. There it goes. <laughs> Stop focusing on me! <laughs> but yeah, that's one. There's a lot of them. We're going to show you guys. Yep. But if you're new here, thanks thank for coming you. along. Thank you Appreciate for clicking you on this by. video. Yes. <laughs> And we appreciate you stopping by here. Check out all of our other videos. Check out on How We Met. That's right. Our Check how out our we How We Met video. video. So you can, you know, have a little glimpse of our inside and background, you know? That's right. And welcome back to all the people who've been here already. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate hi, having you guys back and really appreciate your guys' comments. We love reading those. So we, we keep rereading them and... It gives us inspiration and, and motivation to keep making videos and stuff. So mm -hmm. thank you guys for that. Yes, and we have a big announcement to share with you guys next weekend. That's right. Uh, and it's all thanks to you guys. Let's just say that right now. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. You guys have noticed. The girl have lost lots of weight. Lots of weight. I don't know how much I lost, but when I first started working out at the gym, I was 200 pounds. Exactly 200 pounds. I'm curious to know what I weigh right now, but not really because I want to wait until next year. I want to check my weight a year from the day I started. So that's what I'm doing. So the progress is going to be dramatic, in, inshallah. I will, I will thrive to achieve that. With that being said, I have to go every day to the gym, or not every day, because every day is a bit dramatic. You know? But I have to make it at least four times a week. I am loving this brightness I'm getting from this the sun. Oh. Bye. Not bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs>
and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, and er, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And that's the end of Psalm 1 right there. Psalm, we'll go ahead and read Psalm 2. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that, uh, he that, sit, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall leave, shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have... I, yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. That's the end of Psalm 2. Psalm 3. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, There is no help for him in God. Salah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Salah. I laid me down and slept. I awaked. From the Lord, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God, of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me, and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? Salah. But now that, but now that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself, the Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not, commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be still. Salah. Offer the, offer the sacrifices of righteous or offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart for more than in the time that their, corn, that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for Thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. And that's the end of Psalm 4. I think we'll go ahead and uh, stop at Psalm 4, and I think on my next reading I'm going to do a consistent reading out of the Psalms here, so I'll start on Psalm 5. And uh, I hope that gets you thinking about uh, God's Word and gets you joyful about the day. And uh, God bless.
Hello, Mama. You're up, up. You're up. You're up, baby. Look at them eyebrows. Just like your dad's. Yeah. Yeah, Mama. Get you. Big boy. Uh -oh. <laughs> you can do it. Keep your balance. Good job. Good job. Look at you. You got those on the Mom, right what's feet. what's that? High five. What is she doing? Boom. Boom. What? Bluebird. You want to step on fish? Huh? Which toy am I going to grab? Which toy should we give Blue Boy? Mm. Give you a wrapper. No, it's his favorite right here. It's called. Do wait. Down. Down. Good. Sit. Down. Sit. He's like, I'm done. Give it to me. <laughs> Here we are just spending some quality time before Mark heads to work. After that, we went over to my brother. Um, I dropped over some food to them and picked them up to help me with the railing. Here's Ezekiel pushing people away. Oh, goodness. But yeah, they came over. Um, they helped me out with the deck. Um, so yeah, at that time, that was our third coat. A paint on and we were field. also peeling the paint off of the deck board as well so yeah if you guys haven't seen our previous video stop this right now and go check our previous video to see the final look on the deck it really turned out amazing and we did it um, with a budget of 200 so yeah check out that video if you haven't already I had to go back and forth but I ended up just staying in and letting them do what they had to do out there and I started on dinner so for dinner we were having some chicken we have some lemon pepper seasoning chicken with some kicking um, Chicago seasoning chicken and um, yeah it turned out so good so good I went ahead and put it in this deal what do you call these deals anyways I put it in that for 20 minutes to cook all the way and after that it came out perfecto y'all perfecto Here's the final plate after a couple hours.
Donna got one of those. And Zeke does as well. And she said she bought them the day before they stole her clothes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Perfect timing. Hi, right. baby. You look so pretty. Look at you. Look at them earrings. Yes, mommy. Oh, new earrings, too? Hi, yeah. Got what grandma got her. Zeke, you want to be picked up? <laughs> big boy, big boy, been fussing. Hmm. You been fussy, you been gussy, fussy? Uh -huh. you been fussy, fussy gut. Zeke, uh. All right, y'all. So just showing you a few of the rocks that I've done up here. I took these ones over here and I uh, put some oil on them. I didn't tumble them or anything. I just oiled them. And uh, they're looking pretty good. They've been sitting for about a week with the oil on them. I rubbed the excess off after it sat for about a day. And they look pretty good. I like the way they look. And then I did make these into, you could either make these into pendants or keychains. We have a little bit of tiger's eye right here. Pretty interesting. I just glued them on there. We got a bit of the uh, gold sandstone right here. That's pretty cool. Martha likes that one. These are not, these are just tumbled. They're not polished. I actually really like the look of how they are just tumbled and not, not polished at all. I mean, I do like polished rocks, don't get me wrong, but this is one I found out of the river here. I didn't even, uh, I just washed it. I didn't even clean the soap scum off though, or the uh, pond scum, river scum. Kind of cool though. Something I found in the river, Iowa River rock. This piece of euconite right here. That's going to be kind of cool. This is, uh, so these four stones here, this is, uh, tiger's eye gold sandstone we got red adventure and then we have the uh euconite there and then uh local rock i found from from the river but uh all of these rock these stones here i got from my mom with a rock tumbler kit and they all came with it so that's something interesting to start out with you don't have to have uh you know you don't have to go out and buy the gemstones. It came with a little kit and stuff. And it actually came with these attachments too to turn it into jewelry. So I got a bit more to do. I got to put some jump rings on there and then decide if we want to put it on a chain or if we want to do a keychain. So I don't know if any of y'all are into this or into rock hounding at all, but uh, I sure am. I like these black rocks here. I don't know what they're called, but I call them, I call them puddle stones. <laughs> and uh, they're just real nice. They look good with oil on them. And this piece of euconite right here as well. Very cool rock right here. Another piece of the uh, gold sandstone. You can see that pretty good there. Martha really likes this one. I do too. It's pretty interesting. I don't know if it's man-made or natural or whatnot, but it's nice to look at. Another piece of the euconite here. So, give us a comment. If y'all are into this stuff, or if you ever have been, and I uh, hope y'all enjoy.
Yes. You like that? Fancy, you're just chilling with me. You want more kisses? Zara. Wheels in motion 
Thank you.
we are making um what are we making you guys we're gonna be making um shepherd's pie my way yep yep shepherd's pie <gasps> i gotta make sure i have tomato I have tomato soup. That little bitty thing is not gonna do anything. You can't make it without no tomato soup. I mean, we could, but. Yes, we do. We got some. It's all the way in the back over there, but I have to get it once I'm ready for it. Right now, I'm not ready for it. So I'm just going to put that there. But yeah, guys.
So I just realized I do not have mixed vegetables, but I do have a bag of corn and a can of green beans. So I'm going to open these and add them in there to this. Look all the excess oil I got out of this. I'm going to try to get more out of there, but... Mm. Alrighty, yeah, uh, they are done. I put them in 
um, for like 30 minutes and then broil for like 10. And this is what it's looking like. Mmm, can't wait. Blue boy getting his nails cut. Good job, Blue. First time to make one. Look at look at my babies. She is flourishing. Ready to be big. So I don't think I ever showed grandma to you guys, but here she is with Gracie. Um, they came over to visit, so we had a lot of fun. We chit chatted a lot. We had a lot of catching up to do. And y'all pray for my grandma because she's going through a tough time right now. This woman does not deserve what she's going through right now. But y'all pray for her, please. And thank you. But that is it for today's video y'all we really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already um comment down below anything how are you just comment down whatever you that's in your mind or whatever happened to you today that is so interesting you know just comment down below you know i like to respond back to your guys' comment i really do enjoy responding back so all right, y'all. As always, be safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Bye. Down at the river with Zeke. He loves this little sandbar they got here. Just had to trek through a bunch of tall grass. Down that little walkway there. Now what are we doing, Zeke? What? You say hi? Say hi. <laughs> Let's get that hat up a little bit, huh? There, buddy. Let's see what we got in the river today. There's lots of little fish swimming through there. Isn't there, Zeke? Zeke just wants to step in the river here, don't you? You just want to step on in. y'all I am currently walking through the river with my son Ezekiel we are out getting it we're going to this little sandbar over here and we just take a little walk through the creek here see it's pretty low right now so lots of little fish up in here though lots of life in this creek that's good to see. Ezekiel, we made it. Made it onto land. Oh, there you go. You want to go explore? Yeah. yeah? Oh, you just want to walk in the water, huh? Careful. Ezekiel wants to walk in the water like that there. Where can we find here, Zeke? What can we find? There's other footprints. Looks like other people have been here. And a tire. Whoa. Oh, yeah? What else you see? <laughs> you want to get in the, the thick of it, don't you? Oh, you like throwing that, don't you? Zeke, just finding rocks. 
he found this thing. Ziggy like, <laughs> throwing rocks in the river, aren't you? You're having fun, aren't you, Ziggy? You got your boots wet. Ziggy, you say hi. You say hi. Wave. You don't want to wave. <laughs> He's just loving it out here. So much to look at. We got a nice flowing creek. We're just walking from sandbar to sandbar here and just walking through the river, picking them up while we go. Finding some rocks. I think he's finding a lot of rocks. He's tossing a lot of rocks. Yeah, well, you got to be careful. You got to wait. You see? <laughs> Just a boy being a boy right there, like, you know, having fun with a stick in the mud. I love him so much. He brings a lot of joy to me, folks. Having a family, it's a beautiful thing. It's really something to thank God for every day. All right, we're on our way up from the creek. A little bit of a hike, carrying a little one anyways. See this little trail here, and a little hill, and we'll get up there. But you got this old train bridge there, they turned into a little walkway or whatnot. Yeah, cool little area.